ग्रवनट सी टू सीट कल्टिवेशन सैंटिफिक नेमे साराची सैपोजिया कामन नेम्स आर् मुंगफिली द ग्रवनट बिलांग्स टू पिया अंड बीन फैमिली इट इस नेटिव टू सौत् अमेरिका ग्रवनट इस ओनली नट ग्रोस् बिनी दर्थ दिस ग्रवनट इस पर्टिकुलरली इंपारटेंट फर् प्रोटीन कंटेंट विच इस आफ बयलाजिकल वैल्यू दे आलो कंटेन गुड डील आफ आई विच इस ईजीली डैजस्टेड दिस आलो हेव गुड मेडिसनल वैल्यू For the field preparation, plow with the tractor using a disc followed by arrow, once or twice with the iron plow, or three to four times with the country plow, till all the clouds are broken and a fine tilth is obtained. To tide over the surface crusting, apply lime two ton per hectare along with farmyard manure twelve point five ton per hectare. For leveling of soil, here we use tractor. raised beds form beds of size 10 meter square to 20 meter square depending upon the availability of water slope of land and types of soil ridges and furrows are made such that spacing between ridges is 60 cm fertilizer application apply npk fertilizer at ratio of 25 is to 50 is to 75 kg per hectare Sodium and potassium are used as basal, and phosphorus as top dress. Sowing: groundnut seeds are dipped at four centimeter depth along with the fertilizer. Spacing to be followed is thirty into ten centimeter between plants. Sowing should be done on both sides of ridges. irrigation irrigation should be done according to the following growth stages for pre flowering stage do the irrigation in the interval of 1 to 25 days for flowering stage 26 to 60 days and maturity stage 61 to 105 days germination groundnut seeds are waking up groundnut shows growth first two green leaves are emerged weeding Weeding should be done at regular intervals depending upon the growth of the wheat plants. During the pre-sowing and pre-emergence stage, pluck chlorlin one liter per hectare and pentamethylin three point three liter per hectare is applied on day after sowing. We can also use oxyfluorofen, oxydiosin, metallochlor at forty to forty five days after sowing. Flowering, foliar spray. of dna groundnut tree at 2 kg per acre in 200 liter of water at peak flowering and at pot development stages increases flowering retention pot filling and improves moisture stress tolerance and pod yield pegging stage the pegs may be either pigmented or green Though the portion of the peg in soil is white, the length of the penetrating pegs determines the depth at which groundnut pods are formed. The peg thickness varies from one to two millimeter. Nutrient application: spray dimethate for the control of pest development. To improve pot filling, apply DAP along with ammonium sulfate and borax. In pot formation stage, two to three irrigations are done depending upon soil type. Harvesting, drying and falling of folder leaves and yellowing of top leaves indicate maturity. This indicates that harvest should be done at this stage. Harvesting is done by pulling out of a few plants at random and shell the pots.